Meg and her 21-year-old son Daniel have been constantly arguing since Daniel moved back home three weeks ago, unannounced. Meg, distressed by the situation, has made an appointment with family therapist Mosha Lang. You, your name is Meg, yes. isn't it? And you are? Daniel. Daniel. How, is that, how do you like being called? Or, or Dan. Dan. What do your mates call you? Um, Danny, probably. Danny. Danny. And your mum? Daniel. Daniel. Mm -hmm. So what do you think I should call you? Uh, <laughs> you want to leave it to me? <laughs> yeah, oh, well, okay. it doesn't matter. Okay, all this. Danny. Danny? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you are a, a carpentry apprentice, is that right? Yeah. Where do you do your apprenticeship? Um, I, my boss builds new houses, so all around, but we're working out. I see, so you, you, it's in, in the building industry that you're doing yeah. it, really. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you work outside of home? Yes, what I do work you? in the city for the do state you? government. Doing what? Um, I'm in the multimedia department, uh -huh. right. doing community projects. Actually, I would like to talk more about all this, but maybe because time is short. Could you, in the first place, tell me what brought you here today? Um, I asked Daniel to come with me. Uh, he's just recently moved um, back into the home with me, mm -hmm. my house, and where I live on my own. Mm -hmm. And. Um, he, three weeks ago he moved in and sort of straight away we've, there's been a lot of tension between mm -hmm. us. We've been arguing and um, I'm what, finding it difficult. What, what have you been arguing about? Um, just petty things really. Like um, what? Where the car gets parked and mm -hmm. um, food. I feel like I'm doing all the shopping and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I... I I, I suddenly feel like um, he's taking up a lot of my space, mm -hmm. and um, I don't so, want to so be arguing. I don't so want to be arguing. The, so I want the idea, the initiative to come to see me came from you. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, what's what's your take on what's happening between you and your mum? I just guess that um, I don't know. Shouldn't oh, I shouldn't have moved? I probably shouldn't have moved back. But um, why do you feel you should not have? I don't know, cause uh, probably cause Mum doesn't want doesn't really want me there or something well, like that. It's not that. It's not that I don't want you there. Well, just that it's. You just come in and your stuff's all over the house and I can't find, there's no room for, for my things and I've, I feel like I've enjoyed it being neat and tidy for once. You've been gone for a few years and, and suddenly you're, you just come back like, it just feels like a big explosion in the house. Mm. Some music and... So if Daddy behaved differently at home, You'd be happy for him to stay? Yeah, yes, I think I... Feels a bit more complicated than that. Complicated in what way? Oh... I feel like I'm... Oh, his, his, his father... And I separated five years ago, and I, I'm just starting to find a sense of oh, who I am. And I, I would like Daniel to be there, but I, I, I feel like we need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. to, to, to talk about it. So, you, what is it that you need to talk about then? Oh, I feel. Like I want to be understood by him, mm -hmm. and so and I want to know more about him, mm -hmm. so we can be like friends in a house, perhaps. Mm -hmm. 
So what is it that you, he doesn't understand about you that you want him to understand? 